Leos, welcome back to the Tarot Tanvi. I am Tanvi. This is my studio. These are my tarot cards and this is the 2022 predictions for Leo. So before I go on to your cards and and give you your predictions, uh, I would just like to say that in case you would like to book a personal reading with me, all the links to my website, my Instagram and my YouTube are in the description of this episode. So please feel free to reach out to me. Okay. So I have pulled three cards for you, uh, one each uh, in the area of love and romance, in the area of career and finances, and in the area of, um, of yes, physical, <laughs> mental, emotional, and spiritual health. Okay, so the first card uh, for the area of love and romances, we have the nine of cups in the reverse. So um, Leo is also a fire sign. And uh, Leos are very confident, but at the same time, Leos have sort of uh, sometimes um, a dark side, okay? So we all have a positive and a negative trait, but Leos can sometimes be um, too controlling. I'm not saying that you might try to control your partner a lot, but uh, with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the message that, that is there for you is to let things happen naturally. Okay, do not try to control every situation. For example, if you're not in a relationship, do not obsess over, okay, dating sites and matrimonial sites to find somebody and think that till the time you do not have a person in your life, your life is not complete, okay? At the same time, if you already are in a relationship and, um, you know, there will always be highs and lows. And at the best of times, do not like try to plan too much is the message that I'm getting because things might not go as per your plans, but which is a very good thing because, you know, sometimes we think uh, we get very disappointed when things do not go as per our plans. And be that is because we think that our plan is great. Oh my God, hiccups. Okay. <laughs> so it's because we think that our plans are greater than God's plan or universe's plan. And your message is that no, that's not true. Uh, Nine of Cups is also a, a wish fulfillment card. So all your wishes are going to come true, but in, in ways that you do not expect, in unexpected ways. And unexpected uh, blessings are often known as miracles. So your message in terms of love and relationships is to be open to miracles. If you want things uh, and, and you'll realize like the more you try to control a situation the more uh, things sort of get out of your hands okay so i would say just let things happen and go with the flow and trust that god's plan is always greater 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 than your plan okay so the second card we have is in the area of career and finances and for that we have four of cups so the four of cups um, is a very different card because the four of cups talks about um you see that this girl is there and there's this one person that's giving a cup to her but then the girl is only focused on these three cups that are empty but then this person is is giving her a new opportunity so i would say like the next year uh, you might get sudden unexpected career opportunities okay so in case that is the that is there I would say and you begin to overanalyze whether it is right for you and you know start asking uh, tons of people i would say just take that <laughs> new opportunity because there is one career opportunity that is coming your way in an unexpected way in next year in the next year there are complete chances of that happening uh, that could be very uh, different from what you expected okay so you also see that this girl is not even looking there so, but at the same time, this opportunity is already there, okay? You might feel in the beginning that it's not happening, but when, when this opportunity comes, it might be very sudden and it might be in very unexpected ways. Uh, and this could also be something that is not something that you're used to doing. So, uh, and something that's very different from what you have already been doing. If that is the case, just be open to whatever new opportunities come up, uh, in, in terms of your career and grasp those opportunities because these are really once in a lifetime opportunities and you would not be disappointed okay and also the cups uh, talks about emotional fulfillment i feel that these opportunities would give you the emotional fulfillment 
that you sort of keep finding everywhere else. Okay, so that's your message for your career and finances. Now, in terms of your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual health, we have the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So the Ten of Swords in the reverse, uh, the Ten of, Ten of Swords in the uh, upright talks about endings. Ten of Swords in the reverse talks about beginnings. Okay, for me, th this is my interpretation in this case. So I would say you might have, if you haven't already experienced a spiritual awakening, you might experience what a spiritual awakening feels like. Okay, so you might go through a spiritual awakening in the next year. Uh, I also want to um, clarify one thing. Spiritual awakenings are not always spiritual in nature. It doesn't mean that you suddenly start reading tarot cards. Okay, for example, that's not necessarily the case. Sometimes a spiritual awakening is just means that you re recognize what your soul's purpose is. So, for example, when you find this sort of a career opportunity that is very unconventional, you were not expecting that and it comes out of the blue sort of in terms of a miracle, even in your love life when miracles begin to happen. And you realize how you have been putting your emotional needs in the back burner and not living a very fulfilling life. Uh, that realization is also an awakening. Okay, so I do see a lot of uh, emotional, mental, spiritual, physical growth in the next year and new ways of uh, looking at your emotions. So I have also pulled three cards for you, which are going to tell us the important months in the next year. So we have March, then we have June, and then we have September, September, that's German, sorry. <laughs> so we have March, June, and September. So these three months could be very significant and important for you in the next year. So I hope that this was helpful in some way, and uh, I will see you again next time. Bye-bye, take care.